welcome to Ecoholics. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the Environmental Economics module of UPSC Indian Economic Service Examination and the important strategies that you should remember uh, before the examination so that in this month you can start practicing on it, you can start revising the concepts and you can upgrade your knowledge about the subject. So let's begin with this particular video and in this video my main focus is on environmental economics and there's a simple reason to it. Environmental economics is not just an emerging module, an emerging subject in general, but it also has a very important impact in the current affairs. All over the news, you will find every month there is going to be any uh, a certain environmental related news and environmental impact, environmental tax, environmental duty, something related to environment. And which is why this module requires some special attention because not just the syllabus, but something outside the syllabus is also demanded out of you. Also, you must have seen and observed that in the previous year questions, if you look at the trend of the environmental economics module, then in the last three years of the content that is published in the IES PYQs, uh, there has been special attention to some application based uh, questions, some current affairs based questions, which means that you need to upgrade your knowledge and revise the whole module in a specific direction. So let's check out those important strategies which will enhance the knowledge of this module for you all. So let's start with the very first one, current st strategies. Um, you must have seen that the current affairs, not just related to economics, but related to environment are also frequent in the current news. News articles, magazines are filled with concepts related to carbon offsetting, okay, or uh, something related to the carbon taxes, Okay, carbon taxes, pollution taxes, okay, or something related to the environment sustainability, production methodologies uh, are changing, the industrial um, sector is also changing and adapting new versions of environmental capacity so that uh, sustainability can be maintained and which is why this is very very important. Current strategies mean that all those current strategies that are being implemented, observed and are being talked about, discussed in the current affairs specifically in relations to Indian economy. We are uh, trying um, for our economy to emerge as a very high moving growing e economy and amidst that we also have pledged under the UNFCCC conference that we are also going to make it sustainable. We are going to gradually look at the uh, zero carbon level of production and for which there are various things which are being happening in the economy. So you need to observe them and you need to understand that your knowledge around it needs to upgrade, right? So this is your first important point. Then second thing that you need to remember is the basic theories for conceptual clarity. Basic theories are all the different theories that are mentioned in your syllabus of Indian Economic Service Examination under the Environmental Economics module. But not just those theories, but things that are uh, around it. For example, um, there can be questions related to value. How do you place economic value to a certain environmental good or service? Now, um, under this concept of value where you draw the total economic value framework, there are varieties of questions which can be framed, which is a topic of syllabus, but application wise, it can be an open topic. For example, there was um, last to last year, probably there was a question related to um, white tigers uh, in, in the Indian economy. 
how would you consider them whether you would take them um, as use value or non use value and you had to write an open ended answer around it so now this is very important that whether it is related to total economic value framework or it is related to things like instruments the instruments that are used the economic and uh, the economic direct and indirect instruments that are used for economic planning and uh, policy making for making environmental cons uh, conservation a more efficient way this you need to not just address from a theoretical point of view but also from a practical point of view from a, an application based point of view so reiterating what i have mentioned in point number 1 whatever is happening around the things that you have already read under the syllabus you also need to pay close attention what is happening in indian economy with respect to value with respect to a certain carbon tax are we having carbon tax in in our country where are we implying the carbon tax where are we implementing the carbon tax what are those important environmental uh, laws which are made which are present under our constitution and what are the problems that we are having in implementing them why implementing uh, implementation is so hard all of these are uh, mind bending application based questions which now you need to upgrade upon this is the level in on which you need to upgrade upon so that you will better your environmental economics module for this year right now next point is the financial and economic impact environmental policies always will have financial and economic impact whether it is related to a small uh, infrastructural project related to irrigation or some water reservoir uh, like a dam or something or it is related to something very extreme like building a whole industrial sector or industrial segment in a green zone or um let's say deforestation of a zone um so that you can create something economic right so your idea should be around or your thinking and your study should be around learning the financial and economic impact because this is a sure shot um um question you can say or you you can say that this is a sure shot indication in which direction you need to go while you study for environmental economics many students actually get very stuck in the syllabus itself and are not able to see beyond it right and which is why uh, my whole idea behind making this video is to make sure that you know in which direction you need to go for example international organizations have some funds uh, which need to be given to uh, the underdeveloped countries or developing nations okay and these funds should be used for certain kind of development certain sustainable development certain environmental conversation conservation so is it happening uh, you can always research about these things so that you always are going to be up to date on the facts when you write your answers your answer should not be just plain concept or theory it should be backed with some vital current affairs that you can take direction from here right then the next point is the international organizations or incidents there are various incidents that have taken place in the past whether it is the different conference of parties whether it is the rio convention whether it is the uh, paris agreement or whether it is any other um, uh, assembly under the UN, uh, unfccc all of these assemblies are basically pointing out to a certain major agenda of environmental protection environmental conservation also making sure that economic growth does not break economic growth should also happen but along with sustainability how can it happen do you have a certain opinion that you can give to the government so that it can happen creatively it can happen more efficiently start brainstorming on those solutions and that will help you in writing the answers to certain uncertain questions that may appear in the examination right 
international organizations of course uh, whether it is internal laws that are there uh, in the economy related to environment or externally uh, the different un bodies looking at the environmental laws regulations policies and different other um, assemblies that have happened uh, where india has represented india has uh, stated something regarding environmental laws regarding environmental solutions is a must to read to understand to recollect to remember and to practice right and then Finally, your syllabus. So, syllabus is the last thing that you need to, after doing all of these things, then you come to the syllabus. Because you are at the stage one month near the examination that your syllabus is all, already complete, right? So, you have already furnished whatever you needed to learn. Now, think out of the box for specifically this module because this module will work more on application and current affairs. And so, your basic knowledge will only be tested around the circles of current affairs and certain application-based questions, which might be threatening if you are only only fixated on the syllabus right and which is why this video offers you the direction in which now you should start preparing yourself for this module it's a very important module of the general economics 3 paper and which is why you should pay some attention and some focus on all of these things that I have mentioned. I am sure that definitely this year's examination, you will uh, be more confident while giving the examination if you are uh, checking box on all of these things that I have mentioned. So I'm going to bring to you more insightful uh, information regarding different other examinations. Till then, stay tuned to Ecoholics.